in this lesson we will learn to provide a variable frequency drive to an induction motor and to start the motor smoothly using the frequency drive so in order to do the simulation i will again copy this 200 hp motor and we will compare this with the motor 2 which does not have a starter and the motor 4 which has an auto transformer starter so let me copy this motor over here and we will go to the variable frequency drive option over here so i will drop this from the variable frequency drive i will add a bus over here now in order to provide the ratings for the variable frequency drive i will have to obtain the data from the load flow so let us conduct a load flow over here okay now let us edit the variable frequency drive now this variable frequency drive editor pops up like this and we will go to the ratings page now we know the hp rating of the motor that is 200 hp motor then the full load current is 237.5 which we have from the load flow analysis and going to the loading i will keep this at default then going to the variable frequency drive editor and here we have the control scheme and for the control scheme i will use the v by f to be a fixed value of 8 so for every hertz change in the frequency we will change a corresponding 8 volt so the v by f will be 800 now i will add in more over here okay then at the first second i will have about 50 percentage of my frequency and the second sec second i will have 75 percentage of my frequency and at the third second i will have 90 percentage of my frequency and i will change this to ramp because i want a smooth transition from 50 to 75 and so on and so we have this smooth slope over here with varies the frequency with time so i will click this on okay then i will connect my v by f drive to this bus over here then let us conduct the motor acceleration analysis let me go to the edit study case option over here then i will add this motor 6 and the action will be to start and let us conduct the dynamic motor acceleration study over here okay now it is started to show some error we will have to reduce the simulation time step okay we'll go over here then increase the simulation time step come okay then again run this okay now we will neglect this warnings over here because these are only for demonstration purposes the system that i have drawn is only for demonstration purposes because in the actual system we do not start all the motors at once so what the problem it is shown here is that the motor voltage is always becoming uh, in the under voltage for a period As you can see the motor four is becoming under voltage for the period 1.11 second, and the motor six is becoming under voltage for 0.3 seconds, and so on. So let us close this, and the motor time slider appears over here. So let me go to the one second, and now you can see the inrush current for various starters, and this 
motor 2 does not have any starter so this is the inrush current whereas for the motor 4 having the auto transformer starter we have 663 amps of starting current and for the V by F drive this is the starting current and now varying gradually you can see the change in the currents drawn after the starting period now let us observe the motor starting plots over here uh, first I will observe the bus voltage over here so let me choose the bus 1 over here and I will click on OK because all the motors are being started at the same instant we will have a significant drop in voltage as you can see we have come to 98 percentage of the nominal voltage over here so let me close this and we will observe the motor plots over here so I will choose these three options over here we will also observe the slip while swell and we will click on ok and now we have the motor terminal currents for the three motors and this is for the first motor uh, or the motor 2 which does not have a starter which will have about more than 600 percentage of the full load current during the inrush period and over here we have the motor 4 having the auto transformer starter and this has about 400 percentage of the full load current during the inrush period and for the motor 6 having the V by F drive we have only the full load current across here during the starting period so let me close this and you can see the motor speed over here because I have not configured my V by F drive to operate at 100 percentage of speed which I will do afterwards we can see these motors are reaching the rated speed at different time now as before our auto transformer starting motor takes more time in order to reach the rated speed but our V by F drive starter takes less time than the motor without any starting elements so this is the advantage of using a V by F drive we can smoothly regulate the speed of the motor and also control the inrush current as well so let me close this option and similarly for the motor line current over here and you see the motor slip quickly becomes the rated value for the motor 6 having the V by F drive whereas for the motor 2 and the motor 4 this takes time so let me edit my control scheme over here and for the next second I will put in 100 percentage now we will run this analysis again now let us compare the plots over here and now you can see the motor terminal currents as before so the V by F drive also reaches the rated motor terminal current after the starting period but it starts very quickly it does not take the inrush current of the motor 2 or the motor 4 and uh, here you can see this is the biggest advantage of the V by F drive you can see the motor has reached the rating speed faster than the motor having the auto transformer starter and the motor without the starter and this is the motor light current 
and this is the motor slip as you can see this takes zero time as you can say because the slip becomes from 100 percentage to less than 5 percentage over here it takes like zero time over here whereas for the motor 2 and the motor 4 it takes about 3 to 4 seconds or maybe 5 seconds so let me close this and this is how you conduct a motor dynamic acceleration studies with a motor without a starter with a starter and by using a v by f drive or the variable frequency drive so see you in the next lesson